Hi, my name's Ewan, and I'm a support engineer here at Solutions PT. In this Tech Byte, we'll be looking into Salvador's Cyber Recovery Unit. It's a disaster recovery solution that automatically takes regular backups to allow for fast system recovery. With exponential growth in cyber and ransomware attacks, a recovery plan is a must. Data disaster recovery is essential for companies with non-star production, 24 hours monitoring systems, critical infrastructures, logistics operations, medical equipment, or other critical assets. Therefore, it's important for a solution to minimize data loss and system downtime in the event of a cyber attack or system malfunction. Salvador's solution consists of three aspects. Firstly, a hardware unit to store data and protect it from any corruption, a software agent to perform dedicated data copy and anomaly inspection, and thirdly, a centralized monitoring system to inform the user and display the status of each station. So, Let's take a look at first the units. Uh, so I have a demo unit here of the unit. It's just a small aluminium box. Uh, it comes with a USB-C to A type 3.1 cable. The interface consists of two buttons and eight LEDs, including the ones underneath the buttons. And uh, it's got magnets and um, screws on the back so it can be mounted to the side of any sort of like thin client or anything like that. And yeah, on the inside, uh, it contains uh, three NVMe drives, which allow for data transfer speeds of up to 100 gigabytes per second, although this is bottlenecked to 480 megabytes per second when plugged into a USB 2.0 port. The unit comes in models containing 512 gigabytes, one terabyte, two terabytes, or four terabytes of storage space, and that's per drive. All three drives are used to store different backups of the system, and the first is used to store the data configuration during installation, and all subsequent backups alternate between the two other drives. After the initial configuration, the device will run autonomously, taking regular backups at the predetermined frequency and time. The backup process does not interfere with normal system operations happening simultaneously, and the unit will be at the ready to recover the system at any moment should the situation call for it. The selected drive on the workstation is backed up to an NVMe in its entirety. That's including the operating system, any sort of licenses, configurations, and data files, allowing the CRU to start up to three checkpoints in VM terms of the machine that can be rebooted and restored from. At any given moment, only one of the drives receives electrical voltage and is accessible to the computer. The other two are electronically offline in a full air gap state, uh, which completely isolates them from any internal or external control. The only way to manually switch the active drive is using the physical buttons on the CRU. Next, the agent is used to configure backups as well as the uh, restore the system when it's booted from the unit. It also reports to the management system to inform the user about any abnormalities, such as a late or missing backup, uh, compromised data integrity, or suspicious activity on the workstation. The agent also prevents the active CRU drive from being discoverable through normal paths like File Explorer, so it just won't show up there. And finally, there's the centralized monitoring system, which allows complete visibility of the status of every installed product and is easily accessible by a web browser. On systems where only an internal network is allowed, meaning no internet access, the monitoring module can be installed locally as a VM and easily configured by an IT manager. The next generation of units will support SATA connection, so they can be used with older operating systems, such as Windows XP, and others that don't support you booting from USB. At the moment, installing the software agent on the workstation is necessary for the backup process to function. However, future versions of the product will include agentless capabilities. Salvador are also obtaining cooperation and approval from relevant associations to make the software more accessible for systems that prohibit third-party installation. So now we're going to look at demo of the unit, how it's set up and how it is um, managed. So you'll want to first plug the unit into the machine you want to back up to deliver power and allow data transfer. Then install the Salvador agent on said computer and holding both recovery and configure buttons for five seconds will activate the baseline drive and set the backup frequency to daily. You can change the frequency by holding the configure button for three seconds or through the agent, which is lightweight and quick to install. When launching the agent, you'll be brought through the configuration wizard. So first, you'll select which disk you'd like to back up, and then select backup frequency and time, and then optionally, connect the device to the web monitor. 
From then on, backups will launch automatically without interfering with any ongoing processes, taking a complete backup of the disk. The monitoring system enables full visibility of backup status on each unit. In case of a cyber attack or computer malfunction, the system can be recovered in three steps with no IT knowledge required. Firstly, you just shut down the computer, then hold the recovery button on the unit for five seconds. This will select a backup version, but you can also change this version by holding the configure button for three seconds. Then you'll want to boot the computer in UEFI or BIOS fast boot mode, and then select the Salvador disk to boot from, which should take no more than 30 seconds. You can continue working from the CRU before restoring it to the computer. The Salvador agent detects when it's being booted from and will offer the user to restore and recover the original disk. Simply click confirm and the recovery process will run in the background again without interfering with any primary tasks. Then you just shut down the computer, hold the recovery button for five seconds and reboot the computer to continue operations. So recently, my colleague Luke and I had performed some tests with the CIU to verify its compatibility with Aviva products like InTouch, Historian, and Enterprise Licensing. We performed tests across multiple software versions with an InTouch application that, depending on the test, was logging data either to Historian or by itself. So what did we find? Well, firstly, there was no data loss as a result of the backup occurring, which is very good. It proves that the agent does not interrupt any ongoing processes. One thing to note though, is that if you have anything running during the backup, only the data from the beginning of the backup will be saved. So anything that happens during the backup won't be saved as part of that backup, but it's not a big deal since it'll be saved anyway in the next backup. In terms of how much historical data is saved, it depends on whether you're using InTouch or Historian logging. Because with InTouch logging, it will only save the data up to the midnight before the backup, since the InTouch historical logging files can't be touched while they're still being written to. Whereas with historian logging, it will save all the data up to the time of backup. One really neat thing is that everything that happens while you're booting from the Salvador drive is saved to the current backup. So in our testing, when we booted from the drive, ran the application for a while and restored the system, the data logged while running from the CRU was saved up until the point where we confirmed recovery. Uh, throughout all of this, there was no corruption of the application and the license server didn't go into grace period. In fact, there weren't any outstanding errors in the SMC or Windows event logs, which is really good that the backup and recovery didn't cause any issues with the other software. So this has been an introduction to Salvador's solution for cyber recovery. I'd like to highlight again that its ease of use is really one of its strength. The setup is straightforward, and once that's done, you can just forget about it until, touch wood of course, it's needed. No technical knowledge is required for an operator to recover the system. For more information, there are a couple of links in the description for Salvador's website and YouTube channel. Just as an example, I'm going to show you a couple of resources that helped me with the testing of this product and the writing of this tech byte. We're just going to open up the Salvador website, then go to resources, then videos and downloads. And among other things, we have some PDF documents for the user manual. And the product description. Again, these links are in the video description if you're interested in finding about how Salvador can help you get your system back up and running with minimal downtime and data loss. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or want to arrange a chat to discuss what we've been over in this video, feel free to get in touch with us here at Solutions PT.